pretty, like the closest one, maybe it's like right here. It's an upside down car. Let's see here, or was it? Dude, that looks, that even looks like the shape of like a, a like a Challenger, a, a Charger. So we just got to Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, and we're about to put the boat in the water. Let me tell you a little bit about the guy that we're working with here. His name is Jason Hoffman, and he was supposed to be on his way to Delaware and never made the trip. Yep. He just vanished without a trace. Yeah, so there's not a lot of information about this case, but to my knowledge, he's still missing. He was last seen in a 2006 green Mini Cooper, and uh, so that's what we're looking for today. There are there, some, there's some confusing info that he may have been in a rental car or, or not. I don't know, but we're looking, it sounds like for the Mini Cooper. So that's what, uh, you know, we're gonna search for any vehicles out here. And there's, there's several boat ramps in the Delaware River and the uh, this other creek over here we're gonna be checking out. So this river is massive. We've already been here two days searching and we found a car yesterday. I dove on that one. And uh, I bet we're gonna find more cars today and dive on it. This water up here is really disgusting and murky, maybe six inches of visibility. And there's a tide current to deal with. So uh, it's gonna be a challenge, but you know, it's a nice day. So let's just get the boat in the water, see what happens. Now we got the boat out in the water. Search has begun and we're already at the first boat ramp. We was gonna put in at this boat ramp, but the tide's low and uh, I don't think we would have made it, but luckily we found that other boat ramp. But we're just now coming up on it. Gonna get past these wakes. A lot of growth right here. It's only six feet way out here, so might not be a car here. We'll still check it out. What exactly just happened? It's getting really shallow. It's like a foot deep right here. Holy smokes. Originally gonna put in that. Man, I'm glad we didn't try. If it's that shallow way out here, oh, yeah. there's no chance. I mean, it's dropping back down. I think that was just a little spot. A lot of a lot of plant life right there, I guess. Oh, look at the grass line right here. Oh, that's what we're looking at right now. Yeah, there. I don't. I don't. I, yeah. All right, we can just dub this clear maybe because it goes straight out. There's nothing. There's just oh. maybe there might. If the water's high, the car could have floated straight into the channel. I mean, I guess. It's possible. Man, it's like really shallow way out here. I don't know how they use that boat ramp. Other than when the tide is like its highest. Locals probably know all about it. It's like, well, duh. So we made our way up this little creek on the side of the boat ramp we put in. We didn't see anything in the boat ramps. That one boat ramp was super shallow. So kind of glad we didn't try to put the boat in there because we might still be there. It's sunk. But uh, so far it's deep enough. It's just deep enough. That's seven feet right now. But this is super low tide at seven feet at low tide, so there definitely could be a car out here. So we'll just scan this whole thing really good until we can't scan no more. We think yeah, muscles. There is like a boat ramp up here, I think, on the left, um, which is kind of the closest one to where he was last seen, from what I understand. So uh, well, we'll check it all. And there's a couple more down river. We'll check. But then if he did have, head to Delaware, there's a lot more water up there. I mean, I don't think. I mean, that's another problem. These guys that are traveling. Like we have cases like Oscar Oscar Lewis, where he, you know he he disappeared out of Alabama, but he could have been heading to Texas. Yeah. So he could have gotten lost from here all the way to Texas. We just don't know. Delaware is a lot closer, but still, I mean, if you think about it, from here to Delaware, there's probably a lot of water, and we're right there on the is. ocean. There is, yeah. But this tide water just drives me nuts. Because you think like, oh, it's a good spot. You're like, oh, we're at high tide. It's like, oh, it's two feet at low tide. You're like, that's a waste of time. <laughs> We just got to the final boat ramp in this creek. Doesn't look like it's even in use really anymore. There's a boat dock in the way. Maybe it floats downstream, I really don't know, but it doesn't look like it's a very popular boat dock. Uh, maybe it's more like a tubing thing. I don't know, but either way, we scanned it. It's about six, seven feet, nothing there. I mean, you can see the bottom of that one boat right there. So sonar is definitely working, but nothing here. So it was a good place to clear, but we're gonna head back out to the main river and look around some more. All right, we're out on the main channel again. Just past the section where there's cars parked. I mean, we just went over something that sure does look like a car. We're shooting 100 feet, so it's pretty tiny. We'll go back over it again real quick once we get done scanning a little farther. Yeah, it looks like we just went over a vehicle. It definitely might be. I would say, I and mean, it's kind of a good spot, good area. There's a few, I mean, there's some junk out here. Is there a truck in a car? Is that another shot? We're we in the, the same wheel. area. We saw the wheel well. There has to be a truck and a car. Well, we would have we would have picked up on it by now. Not if it's newer. 
I'm pretty darn convinced that's a car. Now, it's not a Mini Cooper by no means, but like, I guess you said you was reading something about there being a, uh, I mean, a rental was involved. Yeah, maybe? like apparently he may have been driving a rental car or Mini Cooper, or that could have been the rental car and he had a different car. But it sounds like it's a car we're looking for regardless. Um, I'm not sure why there's some confusion there, but this. So there's no like doubt a it's a car. I just can't tell if it's really old or newer. That, unfortunately, is the touch, you know? It looks, it doesn't look boxy. It doesn't look too boxy, I would say, yeah. But I mean, when it comes to this sonar, honestly, we have no idea what we're looking at. I mean, we I just know it's a car, yeah. but it, it could be, it could be from the 50s, who the heck knows? It has happened. I think this is gonna be your best shot right here. Man, I don't know. That looks. It kind of has a unique shape to it. Like a Mustang? It might. It could be. I don't know. Either way. It's so hard to just say. It's so easy to just to say, oh, yeah, it's this and this. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm not going to be that guy. I'm like, it's, I just know it looks like a car, looks like a four, four door. And that's about it. If I was going to guess, if this was a game, I would say either a Dodge Challenger or a uh, Ford. It's either a Ford Taurus. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, I think I they call them escorts to, now. I used to drive one. <laughs> Ford Taurus. That, is, that looks a little muscly to me. It's, yeah, it's got a ra it's got a little roundness to the rear end. I wouldn't say Taurus. The front looks too long. I only know because I drove it. What about an Escort? Like a newer model Escort, they're not the old ones. I don't know about that. What's that? There is a pickup down there, dude. That's what I'm saying. It's got to be a truck and a car right now. Well, look, there. there's no doubt that's a truck. You can see the, the wheel well in the bed. So there was a dang truck we saw. It's just they're right next to each other. The car was just downstream a little bit more than that truck. I didn't think we was crazy, so I take that back. We, it, it is a dang truck we that's saw. That's a truck. And yeah, then and then car. right down from it. There's a car. God, I'm glad we did get that live scan though. If there's more, just maybe go up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, up. we could cruise and you can just like scan around. Like, What's that? That's some. Dude, that looks like a hatchback. I did. That looked more like a Mini Cooper. Yeah, Mini Coopers are hatchbacks, right? Yeah. Well, they're super compact. Is that the truck? That's the truck. It's even oh, on the hill. A, wait, is that a different truck? Why not? I think it is, because you're aimed that way. Like right here. You're yeah. aimed. Like look behind you. It's like right there. 20 feet down. Like it's on the it's on the angle. People have been pushing cars in here for a minute. But that one just passed. If that's a if that's a, a hatchback, dude, that's gotta be the, the car that's gotta be the first one. Yeah. Because we're looking wait, for that little wait. What is that? Oh, that's the top of the truck. No, I think that's the one we was aimed at downstream. Because you're aimed. A tiny, no, is that the truck or is that almost oh, a smart car? It kind of looks like a part of like the cab of a truck. So that's it right there. So I'm gonna keep on. Wait, that's it. Wait, that's it. it. it should be right on top of it. I think I'm inside of it. That's it. So don't pull it off. It's like I'm inside of it. That's better than nothing. I mean, you're on it. Okay, I'm on it. Okay. Just coast before. I'm gonna try. The currents, the currents coming, but you excited? Nope. Why not? This might be like the one. Oh God, we're gonna get wet. Ah! This is gonna be interesting. Adam's ready. He's suited up. Now he's gonna. We got the hatchback or suspected hatchback marked first. So we dive that, and that's not the Mini Cooper we're looking for. We have this weird idea where essentially he's going to come up, sit on the seat, grab the magnet, and I'm going to get him on top of another car. He'll hit it, and then he'll dive back down and do that. And we're going to try and do that with all these vehicles. We'll leave the... I mean... We can leave the pickup. Well, obviously one of them... We could do the pickup, 
Obviously, the dump truck's not going to be a missing person, but I mean, it's really the cars. It's really up to you. Yeah, I was saying we could do the car. There's three cars. That pickup is way older than a 2000 Dakota. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Mm. We'll see. I don't know. Well, actually, there's only one pickup, right? Because the other one is the dump truck. So, but I agree. I don't think it. It doesn't look like a newer vehicle. You never know. We'll do whatever you want. If you're feeling spry, go for it. We'll do the ones that we suspect more first. Yeah, we got three cars that we can do, and that one car is right next to the dump truck. Hell, you might find the dump truck for the heck of it. What you got? Light. Light. Sure, it's actually kicking up pretty good. Sounds like it was yesterday, I guess, but you can definitely tell because when we got in, it was low tide, like it was going out. Still trying to get used to the whole tide thing. He's in the water. Dang current is like really moving. It's throwing the boat all over the place. So. It's going down. Let's see what he has to say. Roger. This is a cab to a truck. Copy. Well, he was right. It was a cab to a pickup truck. I didn't think it could float out that far. It's very disappointing. It probably came from Express Truck Repair. Kind of convenient that there's trucks and a dump truck and truck parts all out here so all right was it on a lot of slack at that thing think you'll be able to do it now have to kick your legs down quick no this one's on its wheels hey here what are you saying Low battery? Yeah, that's what I said in my ear. Prime box needs to be charged. Right. And he's off. Swim. I'll be really surprised if this happens. I don't think he's, he's not deflated enough. There you go. Okay, he's on his way. So you can kind of see where he is right there. He's working his way around to the back of the car right now. There's the window, this is the front of the car. We can actually see him making his way around to the back. That's pretty cool. Nice. Said he got a tag. Copy. Hyundai. Oh crap. So he found a uh, Hyundai. Copy that. He found a Hyundai and uh, we're looking for a Hyundai from yesterday's video. And this one has a tag on it. So this very well could be our guy. All right, we got Adam out of the water. 
What'd you dive on? Three cars. One wasn't even a car, it's just a cab to a truck. One right. was a Hyundai with a tag. And what was this last one you dove on? This was some sort of Toyota upside down. It's a newer? The wheel was like shiny chrome with shiny lug nuts. So the wheel made me think newer, but the car, I mean, it was mostly buried. The car made me think older. But this water, you know, in the current. Did you see the center cap or anything? Yeah. It was a Toyota it center cap? Like, I could, I could, tell, I could show, I could tell you. I'll but it was, maybe a, I'll pop a it was a car brand. That's what you're saying. Yeah, or, Toyota. Okay, I got you. And it had like the back trunk kind of lifted. It was like no tag. No tag. Um, it's upside down. Yeah, mostly buried. Covered fishing line. I got, I got so caught up. <sighs> I'm surprised. People, I mean, it's right there. People are fishing off that all day. Yeah. So. Um, well, and whatever that other thing is, I mean, I. Looking at it over and over again on the sonar, it could be, I'm gonna go with some kind of bus, small bus or small camper, because it's got a bunch of windows, it looks like. I mean, if you look right here, it's express truck repair. They gotta be done. I'd have, I would be at least bit surprised if that's what they're doing. Yeah. You know, and if it is, that's no bueno. No, you know, that's like, not good, so maybe we'll go down to the boat. And right since here. we have a tag. Yeah. I mean that's gonna that's gonna put them on the right track. Yeah, that car one, could be stolen. One tag. If they, I don't know. You can kind of presume that maybe. If, <gasps> what if it? what if they reported that car? Oh, that was stolen off our lot. Sorry, or something like that. It might have been, yeah. But they're like, oh, we just dumped because we couldn't fix. It. I don't know. It could be some weird scam we just come across. Find out. I mean, if anything's missing. Please, radio nine five two. Uh, hello. I wonder if you could send a police officer in my direction. Okay. What's your location? Three twenty Kamer Drive. Okay, what happened? We are uh, essentially, we're part of a search and recovery team. And uh, we was out in the river searching for a missing person. And we didn't find the person we were searching for, but we did come across a cluster of uh, vehicles that looks like have been dumped off the end of this road. And uh, we pretty much wanted to just report it to the cops, let you guys know what we found. And we got a, we got a tag off of one of the cars because we dove on it to see what it was. You said it was several vehicles in there? Yes. There's vehicles, vehicle parts. I think there's even a maybe a small camper van or a school bus down there. Maybe a dump truck. I'm not sure, but it's a large vehicle. Okay, what was the tag on the vehicle? Uh, one second. It's a Pennsylvania tag. Delta Zulu November 1042. Work with like a certain company or anything? Or? Uh, or private organization. Our business is called Wrecked and Recovered. Hey Jeremy, we're gonna have an officer meet you out there as soon as possible, okay? Okay, I appreciate it. Alright, thank you. Bye bye. Man, I have talked to police before, but those guys are really nice. Yeah. Let's hope the cops same way. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Good, good. I don't know if you got the car or not. We just was reporting to you guys no, a cluster. It's, it's right down here. At the end of this road, there's an opening that you can get um, vehicles into the river. Okay. And we found a cluster of cars underneath the water right there. Really? And maybe even a dump truck or something. There's a larger vehicle. Um, yeah, we'll, I just, we'll drive down there and check it out. Okay. So right off the drop here is 25 feet. Yeah, I mean, it goes down pretty steep. Like there is, wow. let me see. Pretty, like the closest one, maybe it's like right here. It's an upside down car. And then right next to it is, like we're debating either a dump truck, a, a, a little bus, or a camper van or something. But it's bigger, it's big. And then uh, there's a there's a pickup downstream. Yeah. And then the uh, the one with the tag was a Hyundai, the farthest down. Yeah, next, we found that tag, comes back to, uh, actually right around the corner in Northeast Philly. Yeah, what kind of car was that on? Um, Hyundai, right? The Hyundai, yeah. Yeah, it's on a Hyundai. Santa Fe. Stolen that's, or anything? Nah, yeah. it's not stolen. Man. That's what I'm trying it's to figure out. Expired in 2004. Uh, what we could do with the vehicles from here, because none of them are stolen. I don't know about the other ones. Like, we we, we don't we don't want three of them Are you guys right here. searching for the missing people in Bucks County? Is that what, is that what you guys are doing? Or? No, we was looking for a guy named Jason Hoffman. Yeah, I mean, there's like... Over the years. Yeah, there's a lot of missing people in this area, but. Plus people in vehicles, but I know I did hear about some people. Yeah, the job the other, the other month. The vehicle? Yeah, the flooding. 
I think there's still two people outstanding. Yeah, well, there's a there's an infant yeah. and a two year old and like a mess. Yeah. Eight, eight, eight dead, I think. Yeah, Goodness. But yeah, those are like what you we say. Get anything off the other cars? That you could tell like plates, bins, and anything like that. Mm, no. It's pretty poor with the yeah, ability. Yeah. Um, the current is pretty bad. I mean, that's the only one we can play. But we, we found a bunch more too. Probably out of y'all's jurisdiction. Yeah. Yeah. Until yeah. they can put. Trying to see if I can get a phone number for that old vehicle. Yeah. You always tell them. How'd you get the plate off? Did you just come off? Or? I just ripped it off under one. Yeah. Wow. They, been there for 20, 19 years. Mm. Yeah, usually they'd kind of pull off. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like you've been down there for a while. All of them. Kind of hard to say. The, the Hyundai didn't. I wouldn't say. You said 19 years? Yeah, ex well, expired. The registration. Registration expired in 04. I wouldn't have felt, thought it was that old. Yeah. The, the car is a 2001, but the registration expired in 04, so. Huh. I mean, yeah, so that's 19 years. I mean, there's also like a truck cab. I don't know what Like, it's a dump, definitely a dumping ground, but. How far is like the visibility when when you're under there? Like uh, oh, how many gosh. feet? Like, like oh. that? Maybe, so you're pretty much maybe right into it. Six inches. So we, you don't even know you don't even know it's there until you run into it. Well, we use sonar and we found it with the sonar. We'll, we'll drop a magnet on it. Yeah, yeah. And then he just follow the rope down to it. Then once you figure out you know where a tire is, you can kind of go from yeah. there. Wow. Well, uh, so I ran <laughs> ran that guy in TLO and yeah. shows he's deceased. Deceased in the car. Uh, I don't know because it doesn't show deceased in yeah. Penda. But let me call a duty tow company and see who wants to come. Uh, uh, see if they can. Yeah. Well, I don't think, how are they going to get the one 100 yards away? I don't Turn know. Another entry way down there? This went on for well into the night and we were standing out there until it was really late. And ultimately the police came to the uh, conclusion that they did not want to pull these cars out. It wasn't a priority since nothing was linked to any missing persons. So the dive team came out, they got a plan. They're going to be coming back out to that area and have a nice big training day pulling cars. And they said they would keep us in the loop, let us know when they're going to do that. Make sure to like and subscribe in this video and I will see you guys on the next adventure.